Hello everyone, welcome to Study IQ. In this video, I will cover 75 questions from the second week of February in English language. This is my revision video, my special revision video where I just run through the questions in a very short space of time for you to quickly revise before your exam. So let's start. First, let's talk about obituary. Former Karnataka Legislative Council Chairman D. Manjunath passed away. Oscar winner, that is Academy Award winner, Hollywood actor, producer and director Kirk Douglas passed away. Kolkata's first cabaret dancer Aarti Das passed away. She was popularly called by her stage name Miss Shefali. Raju Bharatan, he was a cricket journalist, he passed away. Famous writer and academician Giriraj Kisho passed away. Fashion designer Wendell Rodericks passed away. Let's uh, see some important days. World Pulses Day is 10th of February. World Radio Day is 13th of February. In India, by the way, the leading producer of pulses is Madhya Pradesh. On 12th of February, we celebrate Darwin Day to honor the contribution of Charles Darwin to the theory of evolution and theory of natural selection. There is an Indian company called JSR Dynamics. It has come up with a missile called Khagantak. Remember, it's an air-to-surface missile, that is air-to-ground. Khagantak, what is the strike range of the missile? Strike range is 180 kilometers. 180 kilometers and this missile was showcased at Defense Expo in Lucknow. Jindal Steel, they have appointed which person as their brand ambassador? He is a cricketer in the Indian national team. He is from Uttarakhand. His name is Rishabh Pant. As per World Steel Association, India has become which number largest steel producer in the world? So China is number one by far. India is number two. India has overtaken Japan recently. You can see here. China produces nine times more steel than India. So China is by far number one. India is number two, just edging out Japan. American astronaut Christina Koch spent how many days on in space before returning to Earth safely? She spent 328 days in space, breaking the record of Peggy Whitson, who spent 288 days in space. And Christina Koch did a spacewalk also along with Jessica Meir. Remember, Christina Koch landed in Kazakhstan. Which bank has offered to extend a loan of $3 billion? It's a huge loan. 21,000 crore loan to Andhra for their developmental projects. The bank is Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, headed in Beijing and chaired by Jin Likun. So the chairman of AIB is J-I-N-L-I-Q-U-N, Jin Likun from China. Reserve Bank of India's sixth bi-monthly monetary policy uh, did not see any change in the repo rate. So repo rate is same. They did not reduce the repo rate to push the uh, growth because uh, already inflation is very high. So repo rate is 5.15%. Reverse repo rate is 4.9%. Marginal standing facility is 5.4%. Bank rate is 5.4%. Cash reserve ratio is 4%. And SLR, statutory liquidity ratio is 18.25%. If you're preparing for any of the bank exam, one question, one ratio is surely asked. Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises headed by Nitin Gadkari. His constituency is Nagpur. He is also the Minister for Road Transport. So Ministry of MSME has launched which scheme? They have launched a scheme called Safurti for what? For basically providing the financial assistance to the traditional industries. So TI in, stands for, uh, TI in Safurti stands for traditional industries. What does F stands for? The full form of Safurti is scheme of fund for regeneration of traditional industry. So F stands for fund. Who has been appointed as the head of the Shri Ram Janabhumi Tirth Shetra? Basically, they will oversee the construction of the Ram Temple in Ayodhya. And the head of this is K. Parasaran, the advocate of, for very senior advocate, K. Parasaran. The first Disha police station of Andhra was inaugurated in which city? Disha police station will tackle the cases related to rape or sexual crimes against children. First Disha police station has been opened in Raj Mahindravaram, also called as Rajamundri in East Godavari district in Andhra. East Godavari district in Andhra. World's first bulletproof helmet has been developed by which country? It has been developed by the College of Military Engineering, which is in Pune in India. And it has been developed by a person called Major Anup Mishra. Major Anup Mishra. This project of the Indian Army is called Abhedde. Abhedde means impenetrable. And under Project Abhedya, they also made a bulletproof jacket called Bhaba Kavach. It has been developed by Ordnance Factory Board and a company called Midhani, which is called Mishrit Dhatu Nigam. 
India's first glass floor suspension bridge will come up in which city? India's first glass floor suspension bridge is like the base of the bridge on which you walk will be transparent. So you will be able to actually see the water. It has been set up. It will be set up in Rishikesh, which is on the bank of the Holy Ganges, the Ganga River in the Uttarakhand. The Marine Products Develop Export Development Authority has proposed the upgradation and modernization of how many fishing harbors in India at a cost of 2500 crore. It's easy to remember, just assume that in one fishing harbor, you are spending 100 crore. So divided by 100, remove two zeros, it becomes 25, the answer is 25. Mukhya Mantri Parivar Samriddhi Yojana has been launched by which state? Mukhya Mantri Parivar Samriddhi Yojana is what? So in Haryana, the answer is Haryana. In Haryana, if the family is earning less than 1.8 lakh rupees annually, and the family has less than 5 acre of land, then they will be provided 6,000 rupees financial assistance by the government of Haryana every year. 6,000 rupees will be provided in 3 installments of 2,000 rupees. So it's a scheme from Haryana. Which state they will set up 1,000 Kudumbashri Hotel where you will get cheap foods for only 25 rupees, subsidized meal at 25 rupees. It's a socialist setup set up by the communist government of Kerala. So CPIM is the ruling uh, party in Kerala and Kudumbashri Hotel will provide very subsidized food. Now remember, a similar uh, scheme has been started called Shiv Bhojan scheme by the government of Maharashtra. Shiv Bhojan. Arun 3 is the largest hydropower project of which country? Arun 3 is the project of Nepal supported by India. So the answer is Nepal. Now remember, India is giving a loan of 100 billion Nepali rupees. India has given a loan to Nepal 100 billion Nepali rupees. And the capacity of this project is 900 megawatt. And just remember, it's a hydropower project. It will be set up in a district of Nepal, which is called Shankhu Vasabha. Shankhu Vasabha. Which country will start auctioning the elephant hunting licenses? They have ended the ban on elephant hunting. This country is Botswana. Botswana's capital is Gaboron. G-A-B-O-R-O-N-E, Gaboron. And president is Mokshwitsi Masisi. M-A-S-I-S-I, Mokshwitsi Masisi. Ease of Living Index and Municipal Performance, Performance Index. Both of these indexes have been launched by which ministry? Both of these indexes have been launched by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs headed by Hardeep Singh Puri. Which metro has become India's second biggest metro? Recently, it crossed 69 kilometers of route and it is touching now 69.2 kilometers. It is Hyderabad Metro. A Hyderabad Metro has been made by Larson and Tubro. Now remember, uh, the highest metro, the largest metro in India is the metro that is the Delhi metro. Delhi metro. Recently, a 11 kilometer stretch of Hyderabad metro was inaugurated between Hyderabad and Sikandrabad. Reserve Bank of India is observing Financial Literacy Week 2020 from 10 to 14th of February under which theme? They observed Financial Literacy Week. The theme was MSME, Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. Roger Kahan passed away. What was his most famous book? His most famous book was The Boys of Summer. The Boys of Summer. Which country has announced the launch of an international religious freedom alliance in which 27 countries are the partner? It has been initiated by America. So the answer is US and a lot of countries joined in. So countries like, for example, uh, countries like uh, Austria, Brazil, Ukraine, Netherlands, Greece, a lot of countries which have joined this alliance. This is to make sure the minorities are treated fairly in other countries of the world. Who has become the first woman to start the Olympic torch relay? The honor to start the torch relay went to Anna Korakaki. And she's a shooting champion. Uh, she's from Greece. She's a gold medalist, Anna Korakaki. The sixth edition of the mega industrial exhibition NG Expo will be held in which state? NG Expo took place recently in Vadodara in Gujarat. So the answer is Vadodara in Gujarat. The 23rd edition of the National Conference on E-Governance was held in which city? Good Governance Day is 25th of December, Bhadi of Atal Bihari Vajpayee and E-Governance Conference took place in Mumbai. What was the theme? The theme was Digital Transformation. India 2020 Digital Transformation. This was the theme. The police of which city in UP, they started Operation Nakal which is to verify the identity of all the auto rickshaw drivers. A lot of auto rickshaw drivers, they, uh, in the garb of being auto rickshaw driver, they were criminals. So we'll verify the identity of all the auto rickshaw driver. It has been started by the Ghaziabad police in UP. 
who has received an honorable mention in the male category of the prestigious International Olympic Committee's Coach Lifetime Achievement Award. International Olympic Committee is headquartered in Lausanne in Switzerland and chairman of IOC is Thomas Bach. So Pulala Gopichand, India's badminton coach, he got an honorable mention by the IOC. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has got a clearance to manufacture light utility helicopter. So light utility helicopter will replace which helicopter? Light utility helicopter will replace Chetak and Cheetah, these two old helicopters. Remember, the first helicopter summit took place in 2019 in Dehradun and recently Uttarakhand's first helicopter service has started between Dehradun and Gochar. GAU CHAR. Who has become the youngest cricketer to score a half century in international cricket? His name is Kushal Malla. Kushal Malla is from Nepal and Kushal Malla, his age is 15 years and 340 days. That was his age. On the day he scored the half century, he scored it against America. And by the way, he broke the record of Nepal's Rohit Podal. So the former record was also held by a Nepali player called Rohit Podal. Rohit Podal. Which country has won the Under-19 World Cup? Under-19 World Cup has been won by Bangladesh. They defeated India in the final. India was the defending champion and was the hot favourite. But Bangladesh edged India. So, Bangladesh is the winner of the Under-19 World Cup. The Union Cabinet has granted the uh, airline Alliance Air. Remember, Alliance Air is a subsidiary of Air India. Alliance Air will fly international flights to which country? It will fly flights to Sri Lanka. And why is this significant? Because there is a rule of Ministry of Civil Aviation called 5 by 20 rule. This rule has been broken. 5 by 20 rule is that any domestic airline has to spend minimum 5 years in India and it should have minimum 20 planes. It should have minimum 20 planes. So uh, this rule was breached because Alliance Air neither it has 20 planes and nor it has a 5 years experience. When was National Dewarming Day observed? National Dewarming Day is that children and adolescent in the age group of 1 to 19 years, they are given a medicine so that the worms in their body can come out. So this is called dewarming and the day is 10th of February. Remember that National Dewarming Day, the medicine that is given is called albendazole. A-L-B-E-N-D-A-Z-O-L-E, albendazole. Naseem Shah has become the youngest player to take a hat trick. He is from which country? He, ha he broke the record of Alok Kapali. Alok Kapali was a Bangladesh spinner who took a hat-trick against Pakistan in 2003 at the age of 19. So now after 17 years, this record has been broken by Naseem Shah. He is from Pakistan and he has returned the favour by taking a hat-trick against Bangladesh. So the answer is Pakistan. And how old is Naseem Shah? Only 16 years old. Who has become the youngest girl in the world to summit Mount Aconcagua? Mount Aconcagua is the highest peak of South America. It is located in Argentina. And the girl is Kamya Kartiken. Kamya Kartiken. She is only 12 years old. Which team has won the 10th Hockey India Senior Women National Championship 2020? A division. Who is the hockey champion? National champion. It is the team from Haryana. They defeated Sports Authority of India in the final. SAI in the final. The match took place in Kolam in Kerala. What is the strike range of the Pranash ballistic missile? Who is developing this missile? DRDO. Why they are developing this missile? So the strike range of Pranash ballistic missile is 200 kilometers and they are making this missile to replace Prahar. P-R-A-H-A-R. Prahar missile had a range of 150 kilometer. So they wanted a more uh, range missile. So Prahar will be either replaced or it will be augmented by Pranash. And both are developed by DRDO. And both are surface to surface missile. Under Ek Bharat Shresht Bharat campaign, Ladakh along with Jammu and Kashmir has been paired with which state? So remember, Ladakh and Jammu and Kashmir, they have been paired by, uh, by Ek Bharat Shresht Bharat, Ministry of Culture. They have been paired by Ministry of Culture with Tamil Nadu. This is a cultural exchange scheme. So this year's pairings, remember some more. That is, Punjab has been paired with Andhra. Uttarakhand has been paired with Karnataka, Himachal has been paired with Kerala, Delhi with Sikkim and Rajasthan with Assam. Which state celebrated the first ever Hornbill festival? Although Hornbill is a festival of Nagaland, for the first time it was celebrated by Tripura. Tripura. And even Tripura has another very famous festival called Kharchi Puja. K-H-A-R-C-H-I, Kharchi Puja. 
and Tripura also has Roba Gumti and Trishna Wildlife Sanctuaries. It has Rajbari and Clouded Leopard National Park as well. And CM is Viplav Kumar Dev and the governor is Ramesh Bass. Now remember there is a similar sounding festival called Pakke Paga Hornbill, but Pakke Paga Hornbill festival is celebrated in Pakke district of Arunachal Pradesh. Now uh, let's talk about the Academy Award Oscars. Best movie is Parasite, South Korean movie. Best actress is Renee Zellweger for Judy. Best actor is Joaquin Phoenix for Joker. Best director is Bong Joon Ho for Parasite. Animated short film is Hair Love and animated feature film is Toy Story 4. Who has won the men's single title at the Tata Open Maharashtra Tennis Tournament? So Maharashtra Open is played in Pune. It was sponsored by Tata. It was won by Jiri Vesele of Czech Republic. He defeated Ajor Jarasimov of Belarus. What is the name of the world's cheapest gunshot locator developed by the Indian Army? Indian Army is using a gunshot locator which costs 65 lakh rupees, but the new one will cost only 3 lakh rupees. It is called Parth, P A R T H Parth. And if in a range of 400 meter there is any terrorist al along with the gun, it will locate that terrorist. Which team has won the Premier Badminton League 2020 title? So back to back winners. Last year also, this year also, Bangalore Raptors. They defeated Northeastern Warrior in the final. The fifth edition of the joint military exercise Ajay Warrior will be held between India and which country? Ajay Warrior is an exercise. It took place in Salisbury, S A L I S B U R Y, Salisbury between India and Britain. The Northern Coalfield Limited has set up a research and development center under what name for development in coal mining? To develop coal mining, there is a uh, there is a center, research and development center set up by Northern Coalfield. It will be called Saras. And what is the full form of SARAS? SARAS stands for Science and Applied Research Alliance and Support. Let me repeat once more. Science and Applied Research Alliance and Support. Tamil Nadu government, they have declared which delta as a protected special agriculture zone. The delta is the Kaveri Delta. Kaveri Delta. Hunar Heart is organized by which ministry? Hunar Heart is organized by the Ministry of Minority Affairs, headed by Mukhtar Abbas Nakvi. He has written a book also recently called Balwa, B-A-L-W-A, -A, Balwa. And Hunar Heart basically uh, is an exhibition of craftsmen and artisans. Who among the following has won the National Snooker Championship in Pune? National Snooker Championship was won by Aditya Mehta. He defeated the hot favorite Pankaj Adwani. So Aditya Mehta is the National Snooker Champion. And in the women, Vidya Pillai is the national snooker champion. So in the women's category, Karnataka's Vidya Pillai, she defeated Ami Kamani. A-M-E-E-K-A-M-A-N-I. Ami Kamani. The central government has decided to rename the National Institute of Financial Management, Faridabad, after the name of which late politician? So remember, NIFM Faridabad will be named after Arun Jetli. Recently, the Firosha Kotla Stadium in New Delhi was also named Arun Jetli Stadium. World Yunani Day is observed to mark the birth anniversary of which person. So World Yunani Day is 11th of February and Yunani is a traditional system of medicine that came from Greece. Hakim Ajmal Khan is the proponent, he is the founder of this and uh, the chief guest in this function was India's defense minister. He was a chief guest in a function that was organized to celebrate World Yunani Day in India. Who has been named as the 2019 International Hockey Federation Women's Rising Star of the Year. Her name is Lal Ramsiyami and she is from Mizoram. She is from Mizoram. Bidar is a new airport of which state? Bidar and Kalaburgi both are in Karnataka, both are new airports. There is one that opened in Kerala called Kannur. North Kerala, Kannur. Kavalan SOS is a police app of which state? It has an emergency button. If you are in trouble, just press the emergency button and police will reach there. So Kavalan SOS has been started by Tamil Nadu police. What is the another name of the storm Kiara? Kiara hit lot of European countries like Britain, Netherlands, Switzerland, Germany, France, Belgium and whatnot. So Kiara is also called Sabine. West Bengal government, they have made a new variety of rice which is arsenic resistant. Basically, if you grow this rice, it will not absorb arsenic from the soil. Therefore, it will be arsenic free because arsenic is dangerous to the body. So it is called Muktoshri. Muktoshri rise by West Bengal government. International Day of Women and Girls in Science is observed every year on which date? 
it is observed every year on 11th of february 11th of february and this time what was the theme the theme was investment in women and girls in science for inclusive green growth you have to invest in the women and girls in science for inclusive green growth when you know which company has become the we think digital program to provide digital literacy to women the company is facebook facebook has launched we think digital program and recently they launched another program which is called goal g o a l the 13th conference of parties that is cop 13 of the convention on the conservation of the migratory species of wild animal that is called cms it was held in which city it was held recently in gandhinagar in gujarat and great indian bustard the state bird of rajasthan also called godavan was the mascot which team was presented with the icc women's championship trophy icc women's championship trophy was won by australian female that is australian women's team and our captain of australian team is j is captain is mag lenning mag lenning what is the official name given to the disease that is caused by the new corona virus by who so corona virus disease is called covid 2019 covid 2019 by the who gorilla pendra marwahi has become the 28th district of which state it has been carved out from bilaspur district of chatisgarh so the answer is chatisgarh there is a book written recently called the air act 1981 a commentary and digest on the air act 1981 this book is about air pollution so this book is written by which person it has been written by dr k k khandelwal from haryana National Winter Games will be held at which place? So Winter Games will take place at two location. In February they will take place in Ladakh. In March they will take place in Gulmarg in Kashmir. So remember February in Ladakh and Gulmarg in March. The thirty third African Union Summit was held in which city? Thirty third African Union Summit was held in Addis Ababa, which is the capital of Ethiopia. Ethiopia's president is Saleh Bourke Zebre the first ever female president in the history of Ethiopia and prime minister is Abiy Ahmed Ali who won the Nobel Peace Prize also Tedros Adhanom WHO head is also from Ethiopia and who became the chairman of the African Union recently Cyril Ramaphosa he is the president of South Africa which political party has merged with the BJP in Jharkhand it is Jharkhand Vikas Morcha JVM Prajatantrik okay Jharkhand Vikas Morcha Prajatantrik it has merged with the BJP this party was founded by Babulal Marandi who was the first chief minister of newly carved out jharkhand from bihar in 2000 and jharkhand mukti morcha is right now the ruling party headed by hemant soren who among the following has won the allen border medal for the third time allen border medal has been won by david warner and allen border medal is given to the best australian cricket cricketer player of that year and belinda clark medal is given to the best australian female player of that year So the best Australian female player for the last one year is Alice Perry, who has been appointed as a secretary in the Department of Justice in the Ministry of Law and Justice. So law secretary that is the department in the Department of Justice is Barun Mitra, Barun Mitra, who has been appointed as the chairman and managing director of Pawan Hans. It is a government sector company which manufactures helicopters. Pawan Hans, Mr. Sanjeev Rajdhan is the new chairman. Sanjeev Rajdhan. India is also buying helicopters like Apache, Chinook. uh you know romeo all of these helicopters we are buying from america all india chess federation who is the new president all india chess federation new president is mr ajay patel and new secretary is bharat singh chauhan who has become the first ever blind athlete to finish an ironman triathlon 70.3 in dubai so what is this ironman triathlon in ironman triathlon you have to swim for 1.9 km you have to walk for 21.1 km and you have to you have to bicycle uh, ride for 90 kilometers it's very tough and uh, it was done recently by niket dalal niket dalal which bollywood actress has been appointed as the brand ambassador of the ethnic wear company imara imara is a indian clothing line and it will be uh, showcased on karina kapoor khan so she is the brand ambassador for the same national women's day is the birthday of whom National Women's Day is the birthday of Sarojini Naidu remember she was the first woman governor of India first woman governor of India was Sarojini Naidu and she was also known as the nightingale of India because her poems were popular across the globe so her birthday is 
13th of February, which is the National Women's Day. Pravasi Bharatiya Kendra has been renamed after which Union Minister? Recently, the bus stand of Ambala, where she was born in Haryana, also named after her, she is Sushma Suraj, the former Chief Minister of Delhi and former External Affairs Minister of India. Now remember, the Foreign Services Institute in India has also been named after Sushma Suraj. Which state has launched Angan Fau Hunba program? Angan Fau Hunba program is about the growing of the rice or the paddy crop. It has been started by Manipur in Imphal East District. President Ramnath Kovind has presented President's Colors to which Indian ship? It's a naval ship. It is INS Shivaji. INS Shivaji. Which Indian origin politician has been appointed as the Britain's new finance minister? So remember Rishi Sunak. Rishi Sunak is the new finance minister of UK and Preeti Patel is the home minister of UK. Ruling party is conservative party headed by Boris Johnson. Which state has released a new variety of rubber which is called RRII 429. It is resistant to disease and resistant to low temperature. This variety of rubber has been released recently by Tripura. So that was the video. That is part two of the February best 300 questions. I hope you had enjoyed the video. If you did give me a thumbs up, I'll see you very soon in other videos of Study IQ. God bless you and take care.